Okay, so right off the bat, we need to understand that any type of skin disease, sickness, whatever, is twofold. First is dietary. Second, it has to do with what you're lacking as far as vitamins and minerals and potentially lymphatically. Low fat, low salt, high fiber. Lots of fruits and vegetables. Lots of cold-pressed fruit juice. No dairy. No dairy at all. Dairy is one of the leading causes of digestive stagnation and lymphatic stagnation. No fried foods and no greasy foods. No pastries, no chocolates, no sweets, all that type of stuff. Now, successful treatment is based upon the dispersal and or how all of this eczema moves around to begin with. I dare say it's partly a metabolic imbalance. So you have the atopic eczema. Then you have seborrheic eczema. Then there's stasis eczema, discoid eczema, contact eczema. As you can see, it's a pretty big list, but luckily for people that suffer with this, like I said before, it's, diet, it's for dietary reasons, but there's also other ways to treat it. So here's a tincture for dry eczema. In equal parts, you're going to want yarrow, dandelion, calendula, and inconacea. For weeping eczema, one part barberry, two part cleavers, and two parts echinacea. Seborrheic eczema, one part blue flag root, two part metal sweet, and one part bodset if you can get your hands on it. Now, discord eczema is what I'm going to stop at because I don't want to bore nobody. I know how y'all get with this type of stuff, so let me give y'all this last formula. Two parts yellow dock, one part mountain grape, and one part echinacea. I know that was a lot, but I really hope this helped y'all. God bless.